So this is a good example here where at Muscle Shoals. This is a good example of the need to stabilize bluffs. So here, all these houses are very, very close to the edge. There's non-native ice plant trying to stabilize the surface here, so all this vegetation. But here, between the ocean and the people's houses, is all this riprap or all these boulders that have been dumped here specifically to stop the encroachment of the um, sea. So what that's done, if you look here, you'll see there's very little beach. There's almost no beach over here. And as we start to come over here, which you can, you'll see what happens when we have not, we don't have it um, bouldered up. So right here, it's massive undercutting and there's lots of erosion in this part of the bluff is falling down onto the beach. So here we do have beach. If you look down, you'll see that there's sand. There's sand between the boulder field and the cobble that's fallen out of the hillside. So we have beach here, but the houses are at risk. Over there, we have boulders, but no beach. So this is often one of the dilemmas we're faced with, right? With sea level rise. How are we gonna deal with this? Are we just gonna let the houses go away? Are we just gonna let the cliffs erode? Are we just gonna allow uh, bouldering up and the armoring and the hard engineering of our entire uh, coastline? Both those seem to suck. An effective answer, I think the only really long-term sustainable answer is to do what we call managed retreat. So that's to allow this to happen, it's okay, but to pull those houses back, to pull those properties back. What does that, what's that mean? That means that the infrastructure has to be removed or taken or, or relocated. That means the houses either have to be abandoned or just shrunken to a smaller footprint on their property. Not doing so means that we're, we're gonna have no beaches and, and much degraded coastal resources. So this is a reality of our time we have to deal with, this coastal erosion, sea level rise, and uh, the loss of our coastal edge. We need to protect this. We need to be adults and take realistic approaches to deal with this in the long term and not do uh, patchwork, gerrymandering, uh, little, little last minute fixes, hard engineering fixes. Those don't work in the long run.